Soil pH is one of the most important parameters for plant success. Fall too far outside of that acceptable range and your plants are going to suffer and underperform at best. And at worst, they'll just simply perish. That's why being able to quickly test your soil on the fly is very, very useful. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, being useful is our specialty. And today's episode is all about that soil pH. Specifically though, how to test your soil quickly and cheaply with just two household ingredients. Time short as it always is, so let's dive in. To start, collect two equal samples, about a cup's worth each, from the soil you want to test. If it's a really large bed or plot of land, and you believe you got some hot spots, you can collect soil from different areas. Or, you can combine the soil for an overall measurement. With our soil samples collected, let's test for alkalinity or high pH first. Both the acidity and alkalinity tests work because of the principal reaction that acids and bases have when they meet. Remember back from grade school science that when an acid comes in contact with an alkaline or basic substance, bubbles form. These bubbles are in fact carbon dioxide being released from the relatively violent reaction. Therefore, all we need to do is add a sufficient amount of acid, in our case some vinegar, to that soil and watch for bubbles. If you see bubbles forming and it happens almost immediately, then you have a soil with a pH that is alkaline or greater than 7. Now, if there's no bubbles, like I'm seeing here, then we know that the soil is either neutral or already acidic. So, that's great, on to the next test. For acidity, this is where our baking soda comes in. But first, we need to liquefy the soil by adding a sufficient amount of neutral water. Usually around 50% of the volume of the soil that you're testing works great. In this case, we got a cup of soil, so half a cup of water should suffice. A nice good soupy mixture is what we're after. Now, add a single heaping tablespoon of baking soda and watch for action. If the solution bubbles, then we know that we have a soil with a pH below that neutral line of 7. If nothing happens and we didn't already do that first test, then we would have to assume that this soil is either neutral at 7 pH or already alkaline. So, it's only by combining the two tests together that we know whether or not we have an acidic or an alkaline soil. Both tests need to be done simultaneously to be able to rule the other one out. Now, these tests won't give you the exact part of the 14 point pH scale unless in fact your soil is neutral. Then you know it's 7. But, it'll give you an idea of where your soil is at on the spectrum, which is massively beneficial to any grower. Know what else is massively beneficial to any grower? Checking out the next episode of the Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if garden quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.